All right, time for our game, which is... Write-ins. A game of write-ins. All right, go right ahead, Scoot. So, first one. Carmelo Anthony finally announced his retirement yesterday. Yep. You will remember Melo as... Oh, that's easy. I will remember Carmelo as a Syracuse Orangeman, or an orange, as they are called now. Uh... The best one and done in the history of the NCAA and underrated career. I'm going to give you who, what, what did you write? Nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a short list. Try to do it off the top of my head LeBron, Kareem, Mailman, Kobe. Michael, Dirk, Wilt, Shaq. Those eight names. That's the entire list of people who scored more points in the NBA than Carmelo Anthony. He's the ninth all-time leading scorer. I understand his postseason resume is threadbare. Only three postseason series victories. There are only a handful of times, though, he lost as the favorite. 06, first round against the Clippers, bad one. 2013, second round with the Knicks against the Pacers, not a great one. But he rarely was on the better team. He had a great chance, 2009, to make the finals. Lakers, Nuggets, Game 5, Western Conference Finals, tie game going into the fourth quarter. Carmelo scores 11. Kobe goes 0 for 5, but the Lakers win anyway, and they win Game 6, win the title. Carmelo was better than Kobe that night to go up 3-2 in the series. His teammates weren't there for him, and they that was his best chance. His big mistake was, instead of just signing with the Knicks, demanding to be traded to the Knicks, so they didn't have the resources to put a championship team around him. But still, a deserving member of the All-75 team, the greatest men's basketball Olympian ever, NCAA champion, great score. I love Melo. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.